resident of GCD Walker Electoral Area and the man from Camp All in the Denchim Ward District in the Eastern Region this morning were up in arms, registering their frustrations over the cut of, of power supply to the community for over four months. This, according to them, is resulting in increased teenage pregnancies and robberies in the community. The two communities which are within the operational area of the Consolidated Diamond Limited in Akwetia were automatically disconnected from the national grid after the VRA took the mining firm off the, off the grid for non-payment of bills. The assemblyman of the area, John Osborne Kwanza, has blamed government and is sending caution to the president to check on his appointees. This has become necessary for us to hold this press conference to let His Excellency Nanadu know that some of his appointees want to disappoint him. It is also from part of the district, the Chamo district. Currently, child delinquency has produced 11 teenage pregnancies. Insecurity, theft are on rampage due to power outage. Education. Our wars, our wars has been denied of ICT training in school and home as a result of the power outage. We have a joint consultative meeting and we resolved that the ECG should migrate us into their setup so that they meet up every household to enable us to pay our bills every month. We have petitioned a lot of stakeholders, the Speaker of Parliament, Majority Leader, Minority Leader, Power Minister, today is exactly 122 days that darkness engulfed us. That's Assemblyman for the area. Now, school children in the area say the development has affected academic work also. Sometimes our teachers even bring their laptops to school for us to study to do practicals, but if there was supposed to be electricity, we would have been practicing with our laptops in our computer lab, but because there is no electricity, we are not able to use them. It's when we go to school, we do it so that we don't get punished. So in cases that uh, you refuse to do your homework, what happens to you? What do your teachers do to you? They cane us. So when you come home and you want to do your homework, what do you use in doing your homework? Touch light. Touch light? Yes. So you always have to get batteries? Yes. And is this affecting your education? Yes. How is it affecting your education? Because sometimes our parents have to use a lot of money to buy those batteries and they can even use those monies to buy, uh, to pay our school fees for us. And that has been affected an entire uh, residence affair, some of the school children there. In the meantime, the district chief executive of Denchim War, Seth Brim Kwang, is assuring that the issue should be resolved very soon. Uh, we have tried all we can for ECG to connect the community, but ECG is also complaining about the system. Uh, they are saying they have to change the whole system. And when they did the estimates and showed it the company and Grupo, he said they were not ready to fund it. And uh, ECG is also saying that they are not also ready to fund it. So the problem now is changing the system to the taste of uh, ECG. That has become a problem. And uh, we've been, we've had a meeting with the regional minister and the regional coordinating director. Uh, they're waiting to be cool to have discussion with them if they can connect them for the meantime. But they're also complaining about the amount owned them by the company. So it's a complicated issue, but we will keep on pressing on ECJ if they can do something about it immediately.